feel like I have to go right. So what's up here? Just has Tekka Stone. I don't... Yeah, I haven't been to the trailer yet. Ah! Yeah, you just explode over there. Stop it! Okay, and that- huh! More enemies. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Do you know Japanese people eat cake on Christmas? It's a weird, mysterious tradition. Why don't Japanese people eat Japanese sweets? Christmas should be celebrated with wonderful Japanese sweets. Recommend Mitarashi, Mitarashi Dango. I don't know what Mitarashi is, but I'm very familiar with Dango. Uh, yeah, let's level up. Another 5 attack, another 20 HP. Looking good. Fight? No! Finally, a toilet! Uh, reviewed- okay, review Princess Daisy. Uh, so, uh, obviously Princess Daisy was introduced in, uh, Super Mario Land. And she was kind of the stand-in for Princess Peach that you had to rescue, and that's really the only prominent role she's been given. She's been a, uh, a side character in a lot of games. Uh, usually kind of roster filler, but she's gotten about a lot of a, a cult following, and to the point that she uh, is even in Smash as a uh, is an echo for Peach. Overall, I am a fan of of Daisy more than Peach. I think she's for the little personality they're given they've given her. She's more interesting. She does have some kind of annoying memes, but they're not that bad. Uh, like the high on Daisy thing. But I, I wouldn't blame the character for the uh, 
the fan base or the fan base. I wouldn't blame the character for the fan base. Overall, I just I'd like to see her in more games uh, other than just like she was in Super Mario Land and that's it. Uh the the whole her whole kingdom was an interesting setting. Overall, I'd probably give her a solid 7.5 7 no 8 out of 10 an 8 out of 10 in terms of Mario characters she's one of the more interesting side characters with not a lot of interesting people think Daisy is only hi I'm Daisy I mean unfortunately the internet exists and distills things off into their most single most annoying state because that's what the internet likes to do I, I like that she's more tomboyish than Peach and she kind of has more of a personality. She's shown as a little tougher. Uh, Grandpa's words of wisdom. People's success stories aren't worth shit. People's stories of failure are worth more than gold. Okay, thank you. That's really good wisdom. All these neon signs. Am I headed for another boss? No, not quite yet. I, on the note of Princess Daisy, I do know uh, she was first introduced into Mario Party in Mar Mario Party 3, which was uh, Mario Party 2 had the same roster as one of six characters. Her and Waluigi were the first were first introduced in 3, is the first new additions to the cast. And the uh, story mode plot actually centered around Waluigi and Daisy. And it's kind of the most story we really got involving her other than land. Which, I mean, land didn't give her a lot of personality either. But. I got it. I need to dodge more. Like OG Daisy, not Sports Daisy as much. Uh, what do you mean by like OG Daisy? As opposed to Sports Daisy. Like, you don't like her in the sport games? Because she's kind Because in the sport... Take it as... Yeah, I got as In the sports games, I mean... I think that's still her, just her personality. She's, I think, intended to be a little more tomboyish. Oh, interesting fact about Daisy. She actually... Uh, according to the lore of Super Mario Land, um, uh, she's basically the daughter of an emperor, not the daughter of a king. When uh, when she takes rulership, she will be an empress, not a queen. And uh, Saraz Land, where she rules, is actually made up of four different kingdoms, which are the four kind of worlds in Super Mario Land. Mario Party 3, she was a lot less hyperactive. Uh, I guess. I mean, Mario Party 3 didn't have a lot of... Or it, N64 in general, it was kind of harder to depict her as a high-energy character. But I think she's intended to kind of be a higher-energy character. At least more than Peach, who's kind of chill. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Do what you left to today, tomorrow. Do what you leave tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. But the day after tomorrow, stay up all night. Wonder Bob, I can't go near. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I I've actually found out relatively recently about her being an empress and or a daughter of an empress, and I was kind of impressed. I didn't. I was like, wow, you're, she's not even on the same tier as Peach. Also, her and Peach are canonically cousins. I don't know, I guess royalties tend to be related, so. Oh, God. Uh, 
Uh, make sure to compete with Peach too much to have her stay that way. Uh, yeah, all this new info. <laughs> I, I like I said I I am a fan of, of Daisy. I always liked her more than uh more than Peach. She she's been since uh, usurped a couple times by other uh, Mario female characters for me. First by Rosalina and then by Pauline. But I still. I much pref I think she's much more interesting than Peach. And there's so much to work with, and they won't. Yeah, they did. Like Sarazaland is. They have so much material there because they've done so little with it. They just have a handful of lore, and yet they keep showing the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, I, I. They're just sitting on that. But they, they tend to uh, like to play it kind of safe with Mario. They'll do spin-offs, but the Mario game, like, Odyssey was great. And I think it was one of their more creative ones, but they do still tend to like to play it safe a lot. Look at the new, new Super Mario Bros. games, and they're kind of all a bit samey. Like... De you definitely was the best of them, but at brand importance, that, that's probably it. It's similar to how Disney doesn't like to actually take risks much with with uh, Mickey, or with their, uh, especially with Sor Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey. Uh, for uh, Disney Infinity series, the team had to jump through a lot of hoops just to get Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey in the game. They originally didn't want to do it because it's their most protected uh, image. But I think Nintendo's probably kind of the same with Mario. They they want to protect it because it's their biggest brand icon. Uh, true Super Mario Land sequel. Yeah, I'd love that. Super Mario Land 2, in my opinion, was better than 1, but... It also wasn't anything like one, and it wasn't in Sarasa Land. I wouldn't mind seeing Sarasa Land in 3D. Like, have a 3D game that takes place in the Four Kingdoms there. Uh, James Sega doesn't do that with Sonic. <laughs> Sega doesn't even know what to do with Sonic, okay, Shady? Also welcome. It's funny how they bank on nostalgia, don't bank on nostalgia on certain things fans tend to latch onto the most. If you're talking about Nintendo, Nintendo doesn't... Yeah, Nintendo... It's one thing to bank on nostalgia, but also it's important to remember a lot. The older fans aren't their target demographic as kids. And so they don't need to bank on nostalgia for that. They don't want to... They want to just dip enough into nostalgia to keep the adult fans interested. While focusing on what they think the uh, younger demographic will like. Uh, I got screen glare in my cam. Oh, oh god. God, how am I gonna... Dang it, son. Uh, if I turn it a little... Stop it. That's a bit better. Ah, uh, this is the time of year the sun's right there. Uh, this is Mario to all generations, yeah. Might have to invest in curtains, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I share the place, and I, I also I don't think we can easily put up curtains with, with uh, the way the windows are set up. Unfortunately, something I gotta possibly look at once summer hits. I have a bit more time, maybe moving the room around a bit. Like originally, I thought it'd be nice to have the uh, window behind me, but. It's just problematic, so I might have to at some point move the room around. We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Also, Shady, if you didn't notice, I have new channel point roars, so that's why that's why we were talking about uh, Daisy. It was a channel point roar. 
Uh, Hakata Tankotsu, great way to end the day. A pork-based Western style all-star. Oh, that looks so good too. These are all gonna all gonna taunt me. Uh, speaking of Sonic, excited for whatever the next game is. Oh, did they announce another another Sonic game? Or, or are you just saying in general? I because I I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see what they're gonna do at this point. Uh, I, 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 I just want, I'll always just want Chow Garden back. That'll just always be what I'm going to always say. So, there's no point in, like, I, I, I just going to keep repeating that, so. But yeah, uh, Sonic doesn't. I don't understand. Yeah, Sonic. Sega has its own problems with Sonic. They don't even know what they want to do with Sonic. At least they're not overly protective about fans using Sonic for stuff. But they don't. They don't. They don't know what they want to do with Sonic. At this point, you just need fans involved in all their Sonic projects. It's the only way they're gonna come out with anything cold bug come out with anything uh kind of consistently what the fan base would actually want i don't know why i made the slow-mo and then knocked him out of the slow-mo twice Oh, that was a lot took less the less health than I thought it was going to. Oh god, this is trippy. This is trippy. Oh, that's a toilet. I didn't even see that. The chaos our molds are always a thing, but not the chow. Uh Daisy appeared in some some of the concept art for Odyssey for myself. Uh I, I didn't see that if it did. There was always, I know, a kind of a clamor for them to include Sarasa Land in Odyssey as well as uh, Isle Dolphino. And they never did. Uh, this does look kind of Tron Legacy. I haven't seen Tron Legacy, but I'm familiar with the art style. Reminds me of the Tron area in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts Space Paranoids. It also just kind of reminds me of like the indoor neon light golf that was a popular trend for a while. The mini golf. First boss. Visitor, I've been waiting. My name is Electro Triple Star, the main character of the amazing hit game Electric Thunder Tiger. Triple Star, I know you. I played that for days at the arcade. The industrial monster designs were badass and her big cannon was even more awesome. I see. You're a video game superstar and my hero. Visitor, why do we fight? Blood. The visitor fights for bloodthirst, only for that. It just gets my blood rushing. You feel it too, right? Electricity is my blood. Your arrival gets my electricity rushing. It's a bad omen. Blood and electricity, huh? Do you have a family? Yeah. Are they important to you? How many answers are there to that question? What about you? I was unable to protect my beloved family. Fighting me will result in making your family grieve. Don't worry, I'll send you on your way back to your family. Maybe it's because this is an action game, but the only stage prepared for us is one on which to fight. What, you want to do a BBQ together? Me, I'll pass. You're right. All right then, draw your sword. Okay, and you power up. Once this text disappears, we do this. Okay, well, let me just turn up, caught up in chat. Not all cutscenes are voiced in this. Uh, I think only the intro was so far. Came across a picture on Twitter. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Electro Triple Star. There's a lot going on with that character design. Oh, health bar. Nice. Oh, 
Where are you? Where are you? Oh god. Oh. No, 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 no. Ow, 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 ow. No. Well, I, I used that at really the wrong time. Stop it. I, 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 he's almost dead, I think. Unless that's multiple health bars, and I don't realize it. Visitor, do you love up to your name? Visitor, you're good. You're wasting your life as an assassin. Live in the world of video games. Games are supposed to be played, not lived. I want you to be in my next game. I'll text you later. Contact me anytime if you like. Whatever. Anyway, hurry up and change phase. You're not telling me this is the end, right? As you wish. Now for phase two. Yep, yep, of course. Seriously, this dude is batshit crazy. I like it. Triple star. Call upon electricity with body and soul. Electronic shooting star. Uh-uh. Our ult attacks won't work for phase two. First, destroy those Pexky lights. Okay, that's not good. No, I can't. I'm in time. Can I just? Yeah, I can. Wow, I'm not I'm overcomplicating that. What? No, no, that doesn't help me. Yeah, that's a deep break. That felt damn good. This isn't over yet, Travis. No way. Tonight I'm especially strong. Bitchin'. <laughs> Visitor, defeat me and take this world in your hands. Oh god, that was... Okay, come on. Come on. Get in there. Almost. Ah, oh, sometimes. Ah, hard. Finish. Uh, oh, I didn't know some motion controls. Motion control, one of them. You win. You win. <laughs> Ten years level three charge time. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Rank S. Oh, not bad. Nine skills used, four charge attacks, 120 max damage. Must use shining chip. Rush attack use time two seconds, I assume. Ah, to become legend is painful. Visitor, this is true pain. Now I know pain. The pain only defeated now. Your past redemption, Visitor. Will this world be saved or destroyed? Do with it as you like. I don't need to be told. I'll do as I like anyway. Thank you. I was uncomfortable here. Maybe I was waiting for your arrival. I wish we could have met somewhere else. Farewell, my hero. Goodbye, Triple Star. This world salutes you. He gave us a bit of peace and order. The next Death Driver shall take on the deletion of the Destroyer. You calling me a Destroyer? I get used to it, but I really hate those stereotypical anti-hero types. We've cleared the game.
Ooh, it's a Nintendo Switch game card. New skill chip, wing chip acquired. Okay, cool. I have four now. Okay, come on. Load time now. <laughs> there we go. Found my old hero, triple star. Was it a dream? Was it real life? When I fight assassins, my mind just goes blank. It's like a form of adequate between two people fighting to the death. I always took three deep breaths and closed my eyes. This time, my trick for clearing my emotions didn't seem to work. Triple star is right in front of my eyes, my own personal superstar. Memories of childhood came flooding back. My emotions were all out of whack. I killed my own hero. No more heroes. He said it! He said the name! <laughs> Someday, one of these days, Electric Thunder Tiger 3 will be back. I bet Devolver is going to buy the rights to make a sequel. <laughs> Talking about Devolver now? A man can hope, can he? Also, ETT3 is going to feature Travis Touchdown. Like as a sidekick or, kick or some shit. Good night, Triple Star. You're a true hero. Took a snapshot of that just cuz. <laughs> uh, yeah, the purple jacket is cool. Fancy Waluigi. In the trailer, you can use the Death Drive Mach 2 to start the... New games, buy and change t-shirts, and other view other materials like faxes of the archives. Bad Girl, the new playable character from the Bubblegum Fatal DLC, can be selected after clearing the main game, as well as the Killer Marathon DLC level. <coughs> Killer Marathon, the new additional level from the Bubblegum Fatal, Fatal DLC, can be played after clearing the main game. <coughs> new scenario has been added to Bad Man Strikes Back, head for your car. New t-shirt has been added to the bathroom menu. No article has been added to the ramen blog. Facts from Stephen K. A new scenario has been added to Travis Strikes Back. Head for your motorcycle. Save? Jeez, that's a lot of text. No more heroes. Yeah. Okay, so that's the bathroom, which I just used. PC, you can buy a t-shirt to check the ramen blog. Ah, oh, geez, old school computer. Uh, is it apology for the inconvenience to swallow knock all t-shirts? Oh. I got all t-shirts. <laughs> the thing you got, thing you got, thing. Ten minutes later, save. <laughs> like Windows 3.1, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> man, like, man, that, that took me way back. I, yeah. Hollow Knight. <laughs> Uh, good, good beer. Oh, this is Tokyo Shoyu and... Oh, I want to... Tokyo Shoyu, an extremely simple ramen. Slurp up the opaque soup while taking the aroma of soy sauce to really relax. The noodles are the flat, intertwining Hirachi men type. Yes, this is Ito. This is old school ramen. It's like your tongue went on a funky journey through time. It also comes with a boiled egg. Hard, not soft. LOL. Thick cut char siu pork and lots of green onions. Grab some pot stickers while you're at it. A lot of them. And you're gonna need a beer too. What? No beer? The ramen was stellar, but no beer means a penalty of minus 50,000 points. Gochisu sama de shita. Uh, Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Open every day. Hours. Always. Minus 5,000 points. Yeah, delicious. Uh. 
when it got the okay to feature the indie games. Uh, glitch that was patched so you get everything for free or something. Oh, interesting. So all the indie designs, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at the shirts in a, in a minute. Hakata Tenkotsu. An aroma that keeps you coming back for more like a good hot spring in that milky white Tenkotsu soup. Wish you could jump right into that soup and unwind after a long day. Slurp up those thin, firm noodles quickly before they go soggy. Looking up, I notice a sign on the wall saying, Free noodle refills for up to two bowls. Without hesitation, I score another bowl full of super firm noodles. The taste of Hakata blooms inside my mouth. And the beer doesn't exist. What the hell? I try dumping in a bunch of pickled ginger to pick me up. Then another bowl full of noodles. Hey, it's my life. The rum is good but due to the missing beer. Minus 10 million points. Gochisu sama deshita. I. Jeez, I wish I could go to a place with free noodle refills for up to two bowls. But also, like. Jeez. I can have a ramen without beer. This game was originally going to have indie games. Yeah, I think you said that earlier. Hyperlift Drifter, Dead Cells. Uh. Hyperlight. How do I. Oh, oh, look. Dead Cells. I know that. Mulaka. Is that a reference to La Mulana? Earth Atlantis, Dandara. I don't know a lot of these. American Dream, Fallen Legion, 2064, Read Only Memories. Hollow Knight! Furry. F Fury? Demambo. Brawl Out. Steam World Dig 2. Cyberpunk Bartender Action Valhalla. Children of Zodiacs, Stifled, Murphy's, Morphe's Law. Oh, did Morphe's Law come out yet? That looked interesting. Blazing Chrome, Pocket Rumble, Floor Kids, Bit Trip Runner, Disco Elysium, Double Kick Heroes, Treachery and Beatdown City, Wargroove, Pato Box, Super Hot, Papers Please, Thumper, Nuclear Throne, Galaxy, just Shapes and Beats. Yik, a postmodern RPG. Salt and Sanctuary, The Stanley Parable. Golf Story. Undertale. Wolverblade. Black the Fall. Riot Civil Unrest. Rain World. Taratika Voodoo. Olija. Oh, there's La Mulana 2. It literally is La Mulana 2. So the other one is actually probably just an indie game. Different one. Blackbird. The Missing J.J. Macfield in the Island of Memories. Zarbit. Saturday Morning RPG. Downwell. Pikuniku. Ape Out. Hi Hal. Ruiner. The Red Strings Club. Minute. The Swords of Ditto. Gods Will Be Watching. Absolver. Mother Russia Bleeds. The Messenger. So many shirts. Howdyful Boyfriend. Reigns. Crossing Souls, Enter the Gungeon, Luft Rossers, Hotline Miami, Gorn, Dropsy, Gris, Hazer 1, Hazer 2, Hazer 3, Hazer 4, Sword of Legend, Donut, Continue or Die, Chicken Wing, Chicken Wing what? Chicken Wing Face Lock, uh, Tombstone Pile Driver, Mummy, Power of Justice, Smoke, Striped, Plain Tea, Plane 2, or Plane 1, or Plane 2, TSA logo. There were several I liked. Which one, which one were you what were you referring to? I'm a little disappointed. No Stardew Valley? Come on. The Hollow Knight I like. I like, uh... Those are just wrestling moves. I like La Mulana 2. I like, there's, there's a number of ones in here that are good games. The Hollow's good, but I haven't played it. Undertale's good. Golf Story, I yet to get, but I need to. Hmm, a lot of shirts. Oh, I have to beat the game? Uh, okay, no, you don't have to tell me then. Facts. Check facts or see the game. Travis touched on, before you begin the game, I want you to think hard for a second. Which is more important to you, your life or video games? This console, DDM, DD Mac 2, brings death to 
players. You've played it, you should know this better than anyone. Diving into the world of the Death Drive will indeed make for an amazing immersive experience. At the same time, the longer you spend inside, the more severe the damage it does to your brain. Even now, in just that single instant, your brain has been thrown into fear and rage by the horribly disturbing white noise and signals from the machine. You're a clever guy, so I'm sure you've noticed it yourself. The construction of the human brain is extremely delicate and precise. The signals sent from this game destroy your brain tissue extremely easily and can even burn off your nerve tissue. I pray you'll turn back now while you can. God bless America. K. Okay. Jeez. But I can't turn back. Archives. Uh, I'm not going to read all that, but... Especially since it's so tech tiny text. I can't read it from here. Uh, I need to set my new chip on. I didn't get enough for a level up yet. Savage electric text in a straight line affects area around targeted characters. Bike experience Travis strikes back, story Travis and his journey to collect the death balls. What's that? What is the motorcycle thing for? Sound. Experience Badman strikes back, story of Badman's life. And that, this, what are these? Are these like bonus stories? Should I wait to do them? Collecting balls again with a motorcycle. Uh, are these, like, bonus stories? Should I do them before or after I keep playing through the game? Oh, it has to be done to get another level? What about the car? Should I be doing the car thing? Car is an extra story. Should I do that after then or before? If I'm, or like now? Like how, what would you recommend? How, is there no way to switch to these shirts? Let me save after going through all that. It's his story. Yeah, I understand that. I'm oh, this is where I should church. I understand that, but should I do it now or like is it better to do after? I don't know if it's how it's which is probably the better way. Okay. Uh I will use Where is What's the Lamuelana one look like? Interesting. I'm, I'm gonna do the Shovel Knight. Or not Shovel Knight, Hollow Knight. Yeah. Uh. Really good tone. Oh, wait, there are Zelda shirts? Did I miss? Oh, yeah, Wind Waker. Wicker HD is all the two. Oh, dang. Ah. Oh. oh, yes. Jet Set Radio? I didn't even notice all the existing ones. Never mind. I gotta do a Majora's Mask one. Uh, do that one. Can't spoil anything. Yeah, no, I didn't even think that it would. Uh, you you can have the uh, Hollow Knight though. Oh, I should have hit save. No. Uh, save.
Was it yesterday? Hmm. I kind of just quietly went out. I, I think 21's an odd year to... Batman Strikes Back. Fine, we'll do Batman, Batman Strikes Back. What's this? Hmm. Hopefully this isn't super long. The bad man strikes back. Black dog. References no more here one a lot. Uh, yeah. You ever seen the Grim Reaper before? What the fuck? Don't you even know the Grim Reaper? Okay, then here's a little story for you. It was about seven, maybe eight years ago. Back when I was maybe a bit more normal than now. Bad man seems really edgy. It was raining, and the road was slick like a seal's back. I was driving down the highway in my truck. A guy named Cole was sitting in the passenger seat. In the back with the cargo, there were two other younger guys. The cargo was this shit called White Crystal. It was close to 100% pure, and the fiends all loved it. Like, is it crystal meth? Cole was sitting there talking about food. Like, that's all he could fucking talk about. You know, recently I had this one thing that was delicious. It's stewed beef brains, and eat that shit with some grib gribiche sauce. It's like you pop it in your mouth, it melts. It has rich, creamy flavor, just like explodes. It's got the ultimate umami aftertaste. I even feel like maybe I got smarter and shit. What the fuck? You talking about eating cow brains? Yeah, man. There's this other shit called Tete de you. Debut. It's not just the brains, it's the whole head steamed. Stewed. The, the gelatinous part of the skin on the head is just divine. Why the hell would you even think to eat some cow brains? Try it, you'll understand. Try it once and you'll never forget that flavor, man. You know how they got, like, monkey brains in China? I've never gotten my hands on them myself, but I don't want to try that shit at least once before I die. Monkey brains apparently work wonders for, you know, problems with your dong, too. Okay. <laughs> it was just as I was heading up north on Highway 101 about to turn off onto some backwater dirt road. I saw a raggedy old black dog limping along the road. Suit in a nutshell, violence, smut, smart things. Check out that dog. That's an incarnation of the Grim Reaper, you know. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about, but I had a bad feeling. Then I was coming out of a turn, and I saw this big-ass trailer sitting right in the middle of the fucking road. It was obviously parked there to block off traffic. I slammed on the brakes, and suddenly three, maybe four more cars showed up behind us. Fucking ambush. Looks like it, huh? Someone planned this. Fuck. Gotta look at the guys in the back now. There are too many of them to fight off. The fuck do we do now? The mountains on the right, cliffs to the left. We can't run. Punch in reverse. That's the only way out. What, ram him? That's fucked. Let's do it. Not a bad spur of the moment plan. Cole had a big mouth, but he was still a pro bodyguard. I grabbed the clutch, shoved the truck in reverse, and punched the gas. That's when it happened. I could see that old black dog in the corner of my eye. And then...
remember Cole aiming his python and shooting me right in the left fucking ear. To be exact, he was aiming for the guy behind me and missed, hit me instead. It sounded like it sounded like church bells ringing inside my head, and I thought I'd gone deaf. Then warm blood starts flowing down my face, and now I can't see shit either. I knew that the guy behind me had done Cole. Cole had been chewing my ear off about eating brains for lunch or whatever. Now there he was, his own brains blown out all over the place. For all I know, the monkey brains were the last thing to go through his own brains before a bullet did. That's when I lost consciousness. Of course I should have been killed too, but I wasn't. I was unconscious and covered in blood, so they probably assumed my ass was dead. So I figured that's why the Grim Reaper only took Cole with him to the next world. Which was, you know, a huge fucking mistake. To be continued. Uh, okay, this is just literally... It's not, not even choices involved, this is just... A story. But sure. We'll keep going. We're in this far. The calamity's continued. For the cargo we we're hauling ripped off. My boss, Castiglion, was fucking pissed. I didn't even want to know what kind of messed up shit the old man might have done back in the day. But I knew he was the type to dish out discipline. For 40 years, he'd led the organization, busting skulls and raking cash all along the Pacific Northwest. He was real old school and real stubborn. Even worse was the guy he sent out, Mosca. His connection had got him a, in a spot, and got him a spot in the organization. But he was just a young punk, punk thick as pig shit. Sorry, my throat's getting dry. <laughs> Probably got told to jack me up real good. With his new toy, me, right in front of his eyes, you could tell he was already high on adrenaline. You're Birkin. I can't figure out if your luck is great or if it sucks. But either way, you're in some real shit now. And that shit's starting to stack real high. Taking that slug to the air, I look like a regular Van Gogh with my face all bandaged up. <laughs> Consider it, compare yourself to Van Gogh. <laughs> Mosca stood there tweaking the bandage with a knife while I went on t talking his shit. You used to be in the major leagues, right? That's pretty badass, huh? So you're pretty famous or what? Apparently you were some kind of batter prodigy. Ended up in a pinch is a pinch hitter, yeah? Wow, well, look at your sorry ass now. What the fuck are you even doing? Getting your shit ripped off while you're get taking a little nap. I guess all you're good at now is fucking up, huh? Whatever. Been a while since I played me some baseball. The pitching machine was the arm loading type. Probably Japanese. That shiny ass arm launched a 95 mile per hour ball right at my goddamn face. But I was fine. I dodged that first ball like nothing. Second ball too. Mouska started getting all frustrated and was screaming like a little bitch. Hey old man! Quit moving goddammit! What the hell, man? Somebody fastened this asshole's head in pl place for me. Oh wait, hold up. Yeah, here we go. Mosca rewrapped the bandage around my face. I guess it's a text adventure, but I'm not even sure I call it a text adventure because it doesn't have choices involved. It's just backstory. Made it into blindfold. And he just stood back and watched. But no blindfold was going to stop my ass thought maybe I could dodge the balls by listening for the sound. Seriously. Now how many years I've spent playing baseball? Me and the old bat and ball may go the fuck back. My left ear was ringing like a bastard and was basically useless. I'd forgotten about that. I took the next ball right to the fucking face. First strike, my brains were bobbling like jelly. Time suddenly stood still. I pissed myself. Second strike. 
felt like getting hit in the cheek by a goddamn meteor. I was really, really fucking mad. Mad at Mosca. Like, if this was torture, I understand. Torture has purpose, at least. But Mosca is just some fucking punk kid who got his jollies off of violence. I mean, that's still torture. This kind of asshole definitely beats this woman. Apparently, beating up old men was almost as fun. And this dick shows absolutely no remorse for me as a shiny new toy. He was just playing target practice. That's when the third ball hit me right in the nose. Third strike, I blacked out. This darkness appeared out of nowhere. Swallowed my bloody ass right up. All of a sudden I was up on the batting cage ceiling. Like I was floating. I was totally conscious and calm. I could see my physical body lying on the floor. A group of guys were standing over me, looking down. And I was up there looking down on these guys. Then I was swallowed up by the darkness again. I started moving through the darkness. Next this light appeared. Getting your jollies, yeah. It was like this be being of light was reaching its hand out to me. So I reached out to myself. And I saw that it was the old black dog. The dog was laughing, showing its fangs. I was fucking scared. Looking at this dog's face like some kind of gag, it fucking terrified me. This feeling of fear blew up in me a hydrogen bomb explosion. I let out a scream. And suddenly I was staring up at a hospital's room ceiling. You get it? The Grim Reaper, he'd been riding me like a pony. Uh, Sone, how many chapters are there of the this thing?